Hey guys, you're watching Z1 and Only, my name is AJ, and welcome to Lesson 7 of School of Redstone, and we are doing TNT cannons. So, uh, I've got four TNT cannons set up, and we're going to go through them all. Um, the first one here, oh by the way, this is my new microphone guys, so uh, leave a comment if you like it, and leave a like if you like it, if it's improvement. Uh, I think it is, I think it sounds great, so uh, we shall see what you guys think of it. And... Uh, I'm going to actually swap this for a button to make it easier. So, this is the smallest cannon. This is a uh, easy one to make in survival. And it, it doesn't really have too much of a great distance. But none of the cannons on 360 have a great distance at the moment. Because of the way TNT seems to work. I don't know the exact uh, things about it. But basically, you load this by placing 4 TNT in. And the TNT you're going to shoot, you push the button, it ignites the um, TNT and then ignites the one that you're going to fire slightly after, and then boom. So that's about the distance that you're going to get out of this cannon. I've raised it off the floor a little bit to give it a little bit more distance. Uh, but the way this is made, this is so simple to make that I don't need to do a, a building tutorial of it. Um, but under here we've got the source block, so you never put TNT there, you always put TNT one block in front, so the, t uh, so the water always comes back. This redstone line above here ignites the top TNT, and this line under here ignites the bottom TNT. Redstone signal can still go through half slabs, which is why it can work here. Uh, and these slabs are here, so when the top TNT um, ignites, it doesn't jump off to the side or jump off down onto here and blow up your cannon. So the, these are just here to keep the TNT in line. Uh, it ignites t the TNT straight away from pushing the button. And then this lead comes down here through some repeaters to delay the last TNT from igniting. And then ignites it before firing it. And kaboom. So that's it. That's why there's a break in here. It's not broken. There's meant to be a break here. It's because this line sets off the firing TNT. And this line sets off the primer or whatever you call them. I don't know the exact name sort of them on here. So that's uh, this the smallest TNT cannon. Uh, and then I made this one. Um, which I improved on from that one. And uh, it looks a little bit awkward. This sort of spidery design on the top. But this is just to keep them in line. Uh... This does fire further, and half of it is because it's actually higher up, so it doesn't hit the floor as fast. But in general, this is a more powerful TNT, a more powerful cannon, because it uses TNT, uh, more TNT. I'm going to put a button on there again, because the lever is a little bit awkward. You've got to turn it on, then off. So, uh, if we just demonstrate this one first. This one is two um, on the back, and then... Uh, four on the back, sorry, and two in front, so you've got six TNT fire in this one. And you can fire two TNT with this, but for now I'm just going to fire one. You push the button, the same principle again. Ignite three, fire TNT. In fact, that was awful, it's not usually that bad. We'll try it again. And hopefully it'll fire a little bit better this time. Hasn't been doing this and testing, but obviously when you're recording, everything tries to make it awkward. But this seems to be the most powerful one at the moment. Uh, there we go. Ba boom. So that's a huge uh, greater distance. That's like double of what the last cannon was getting. And then I got a comment saying if I could make a, an automatic reloading TNT cannon. So that's what this is. So, same setup down here. We've got the water which uh, stops the rest of the cannon from blowing up. That's what the water's there for. I should have explained that at the beginning. Um, but yeah, the water's here so when the TNT gets ignited, when it blows up, it doesn't blow up the rest of the cannon. Uh, because it's in water, it doesn't affect it. So, this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 TNT strong. So, it's a meant to be a little bit stronger than the last cannon and then the eighth one here is the one that's fired obviously this slab here is here again just to keep it in line so it doesn't go off track uh, and the button here 
So that's your basic firing mechanism, but then we have another route that comes down here through some repeaters uh, up to some gravels. So once the first TNT is fired, it then moves it across. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. So it fires it, and then it moves it across, and uh, we're all reloaded again. And we can fire again. And we've got seven rounds in this before you need to redo it. Ooh, all right, I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> we can cut that out. I don't know what happened there. And our last one here, I just had to do some final modifications on it. Um, our final one is this setup. So this is actually on ground level. So this could be m a little bit more powerful if you had it as high up as these other ones. Ignore that. That was a misfire. Uh, <laughs> Um, so yeah, basic principle again of this is the delayed one to get the firing TNT and then it goes up here and this is more compact so this is um, like a higher one but yeah, we'll just show you. I'm not very good at explaining it so kablam. So that's got about halfway between the first uh, cannon and the second cannon uh, and that's on the floor so if this was as high up as these cannons were we could actually get it probably further than the other one and uh, this seems to be the most power there's a couple of other ways you can do it with um, pistons underneath but this is a nice simple way to build it uh, and at the moment we can't have any more TNT than this I built two, two more levels above this of uh, eight more TNT and because of there seems to be a, an amount of TNT that you can have lit at the same time on Xbox. Uh, so it just deletes these ones uh, and just makes them disappear. I'm not sure what that is. It might even delete one of those. We'll find out. N nope, both of those are made. And kaboom. So yeah, we've got some fair distance there. Uh, so I'm going to come back around the back for here. You know the front. You can see the front there. You can pause the video now to build the front. And then the back goes uh, just along each set of TNT, so let's pull it up, and the repeaters are here, don't put any delay on any of these repeaters, they're just here to boost the signal up to the next level, up to the third level, and then up to the fourth level, so that's it, and this one you have to reload yourself, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out a way how to make this um, semi-automatic, but uh, as simple as that guys, so that should cover you all, you've got um, the easy TNT cannon at the beginning. Boo! You got the easy TNT cannon here. Nice and simple and quick to make. Uh, effective for PvP maps and uh, mm, what well, they service where you can grief on. If you can grief on servers, I don't allow. Well, I don't like griefing, but if you are allowed to grief on a certain server, then this would be a great way to do it. You've got a slightly more powerful cannon here, or the most powerful cannon that I've come up with so far. I'll let you guys know if I come across a more powerful one for the 360. I know there's a lot more powerful ones for the PC, but because of Redstone in 360 version, this seems to be as far as I can get a TNT to shoot. Uh, and then this was the, the semi-automatic one, but we, we had a little bit of a misfire here. Um, yeah. And then you've got the one on the floor here. So I hope you enjoyed that guys, I hope that'll help, and if you've got any redstone problems that you need help with, you can either send me a message or comment in this comment section below, in fact I'd prefer you to comment in the comment section below and then other people can see it and see how I replied to them, and if it's a big enough problem I will make an episode out about them. And if you like the TNT um, cannons, leave a like, uh, if you haven't already please subscribe and we shall see you in the next lesson or next episode guys. So. Oh, and I hope you like the new mic.